It's my pleasure to welcome you all to the fourth e-conference of Texila American University. Now we are going to see a topic of clinical research. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Dan Lakshmi and I'm going to give you a guest lecture on the clinical trial process. We can see an overview of clinical trial process before entering into the clinical research process. Uh, we can have an outlook of drug discovery and the development process. It involves the selection of the target population and before do, uh, doing to the drug research, we need to validate the target population. And the next step is the preclinical testing. The final step is the clinical testing. Now we are going to focus more on the clinical research. We, everyone will ask, what is clinical trial? Effectiveness of intervention to treat a disease, safety of a new drug or a device, defining dose administration, testing drug formulation, exploring combination therapies and evaluating effect of therapies on the quality of life. In each trial, it has to undergo four phases, phase one, phase two, phase three and phase four. It takes approximately 10 to 12 years to find a new drug that reaches to market. For every 10,000 to 30,000 drug molecules, if we screen that, we get only one new drug to the market. We can see what are the types of clinical trial. Two, uh, the clinical trial is mainly used to treat a disease. So test new approaches to treat a disease is the first step. And the next one is the prevention method. Prevention is better than cure. What approaches can prevent the disease? For example, vaccination can be found out with the clinical trials. Early detection or screening, what are the new ways to find hidden disease? Diagnostic, how can new test or procedure can find an infectious disease? To run the clinical trials, we need to follow the regulations. It has to be international standard. So we do follow international conference on organization, harmonization, uh, E6 good clinical practice, consolidated guidelines, international ethical and scientific quality standard for designing, conducting, recording a clinical trial and reporting the clinical trial results. We can have a look on who are the stockholders of a clinical trial. For example, the sponsor who is uh, 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 financially helping the trial, the contract research organization, then the investigator, the ethical committee, regulatory authority and the subject subject is nothing but the patients sponsor sponsor takes the responsibility for the initiation management and financing the clinical trial contract research organization is nothing but it is an organization the sponsor have to perform one or more of the sponsor trials related duties and functions investigator is responsible to conduct a clinical trial at the site ethical committee should protect the rights and the safety of a well-being of the patients involved in a trial. For a blinded study, unblinded persons, for example, the coordinators, nurse or pharmacist are required for dispensing the trial medication to the study subject. Clear delegation of the duties should be given to the concerned person. Individual member of a study team can be delegated specific trial duties such as administration of the ICF, that is the person responsible to conduct an uh, informed consent form, recruiting the subject, correspondence with the ethical committee and the sponsors, the storage, dispensing and accountability of a drug, medical maintenance of site master file, resolution of data inquiries, patient visits scheduling, protocol compliance and follow up. We can have a look on the uh, institutional review board. All clinical trials must be approved and monitored by an IRB. IRB is an independent ethical committee of a physician, nurse, statistician, community advocates and others. The function of an IRB is to ensure that the clinical trial is ethical and rights welfare of a study participants are protected. Before that, we need to know what is a research protocol. What are the content should be present in the research protocol? Before starting a study, a sponsor should have an objective of a study. Then they have to do a background research of that particular study. The inclusion and the exclusion criteria of selecting the patient should be included in the research protocol. And the study procedures, the treatment mannerism has to be included in the protocol. The response evaluation criteria and the final step is the biostatistical data selections. What does mean by informed consent? It is a learning the key fact about a trial before deciding whether to participate. The research 
study purpose. The risk and benefits of a trial will be mentioned in the informed consent and if they get any serious adverse event, an alternative treatment of that particular trial will be mentioned in the informed consent. The local language informed consent also will be provided to the site. Whom to contact for answer to any questions? Statement, the participation is voluntary. We should inform the, stu uh, we should inform the patients that the participation is voluntary. Informed consent form must be obtained before non-routine screening procedures are performed and are before any changes in the subject current medical therapy. The subject or in, uh, investigator obtaining the informed consent form should be uh, with date and an appropriate place. One copy of the in signed informed consent form should be given to the patient and the other will be kept with the principal investigator. In case, if the subject is illiterate, one impartial person should be present during the informed consent discussion and signing. Any amendment done during the informed consent form should be subjected to the ethical committee approval. The subject should be reconsented. Only ethical committee approved ICF should be used for all the enrollment. Data required in the protocol should be carefully recorded in the source document and later transcribed in the CRF. The recruitment strategies. Many clinical trials get failed due to the recruitment, uh, poor patient recruitment. So recruitment is very important. The patient should have high faith on the physician uh, and the uh, study coordinators speaking to the community groups. Source document. The source document should tell, uh, should tell the complete story of a trial and aid in reconstruction of the total information. CRF of a source document referred to the quality of life, questionnaire, evaluation scales and the patient demographics and etc. Documentation of all transaction of the study drug should be 100% uh, of drug accountability. Incomplete and inappropriate source document can lead to uh, audit issues and well-maintained source document helps in the reconstruction of the study at any point of time. All source document are required to be archived for a specific period of 10 to 15 years after completion of the study for the future audit. A good source document should be able to address the informed consent process, how they have taken the cons uh, consent from the patient, the pre-existing condition and the history of the patient, the laboratory reports and the results and the progress of the uh, disease or else uh, they have cured. All the details should be informed in the source document. Efficacy evaluation and the adverse event and the character medications, drug accountability and the ongoing patient status. Each patient, if they go any research activities, they may have the serious adverse event. We, have, can, we can have a look on the serious adverse event. Even that results in any of the following, that is death or life threatening, in case if they are hospitalized or prolonged hospitalization, it also enters into the serious adverse event. Congenital anom anomaly and birth defect effect events that are serious, unexpected, unrelated or possibly related to the participation, it has to be mentioned to the sponsor and the IRB in the timely manner. Clinical trial end product, ideal and conclusion regarding a clinical outcome of a trial treatment or a device. Anyway, strive for an ideal but in most cases have to settle for the best compromise. Thank you for giving me the wonderful opportunity and all the very best for all the participants. Enjoy the session.